Well, hello to everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Archero bot with the Nox player and uh, how to make it start, stop and uh, control it. When you open Nox player, open the Archero app. I already have mine opened. And you have to be in the world main uh, page with the cave selected. So make sure that you have selected it before making the bot start. Now let's navigate to our Archero repository that we cloned and we have to open the game controller. Uh, just double click and wait for it to open. Once opened you can see that uh, there is no device and it is trying to connect. Now it is connected. We see that uh, the device resolution is 1080 by 9020 and it is the one used by our Nox player. And it is, of course, the only one supported by this version. Uh, here it is the terminal. We can see all the logging uh, informations, but we will not be using it now. We can move this uh, window around. We can even make it bigger. We can even put it uh, full screen and see all the levels and the logging for each level. But I will minimize it because we have to see the player uh, working. And now that we have the cave selected, we can press play. He will start checking the screen, checking the energy, if there is left. It will press start. It will check this frame with the quick ride. Press start again. Now he entered, he will start with the intro level. We can see here all the logging information and when he will pass to the, no, to the next level, we will see it's uh, logging. As the bot uh, is going through the dungeon, we can see a specific pattern was made in order to go through every single map uh, without uh, taking account every single wall and detecting them and avoiding. So this will work for every map for cave number six. There are some maps with uh, a central point like this one, there are ones with uh, um, lateral walls, so this was the simplest uh, uh, move and path we, we could choose to get to the uh, most upper part uh, of the map. And now we can let him work, we can let him do its stuff and uh, we don't have to press anything. When the bot is working you can see through the interface uh, the current level. You can, uh, if you maximize, you can see the level uh, and uh, its specified logs. Here uh, it uh, changed to the boss level, as we can see here. For example, now is uh, looking at the screen. He will choose uh, an ability. He will go left and then right and up. And here we can see that we, it will change from boss to normal and it uh, will change to this area. When you have your uh, bot working but it somehow uh, gets stuck or uh, do something wrong, maybe it, uh, it is here or it is uh, in a wrong place, you can always pause or stop it. When pausing it will uh, keep the logging, when stop it it will reset all, uh, all the things. If you want to get back to this, to this state, you have to manually put it in the next room. Here we are in uh, room 6, we go ahead and we stop here. This is room number 7, we can select the 7th room and then press play again. Remember that when uh, selecting a room and pressing play, you have to manually put it in this starting position for normal, boss or other levels. I suggest doing that for the normal and healing uh, levels. If you are in a boss uh, level, uh, it is advised to go through it, uh, defy, um, defy the enemy and then wait in the next uh, area, then pressing play again. When we are inside the heal level, you can either use the left or right uh, option and uh, you can change it from here, from the healing strategy, always power or always heal. I suggest you, if you have a lower uh, account, to uh, choose the always heal. Otherwise, if you have a higher account, you can choose to always power up, 
in order to go to more rooms before uh, being killed. If you have an even higher account, you can, uh, the bot will uh, work until final boss, then exit and then start a new game. I will let him now play and uh, I will show you how all this was made. First, we start from the datas folder. I personally took all these screens of the game and I saw that all the different uh, stages of the game have uh, uh, some similarities. For example, the healing phase of the game has this banner, blue, and these uh, abilities, which are green. And we can go around and see that uh, the level upgrade has also three different buttons for abilities with green backgrounds. And the lucky wheel got this yellow banner. So I've decided to check the game state based on uh, RGB levels on the image. In order to show you that, I will show you the tool I created, the touch manager. This tool is useful to show how buttons, movements and uh, frame checkpoints are checked during the game. If we take like uh, this uh, healing session, we can see it here. In order to check this image, in order to check this image correctly, uh, I can go here in checkpoints and find out that I have it healed. Angel Hill. So as you can see, this specific point here has to be blue and I set it to blue. This other point has to be blue and all these four points have to be green. These specific uh, uh, RGB locations are unique in all the game. So if I take a random screenshot from the game and I want to check what is going on, the bot itself will check every single one of them and if the RGB points corresponds uh, with regard to a small uh, rounding factor, then the bot will decide that now we are inside a healing uh, angel stage of a game. So he will act accordingly. We can also see the movement, so when we have to go northeast, we start from here and we go through here. So this is the movement of the touch screen uh, when we have to go northeast and so on for the other directions. As for the bottoms, for example, if I am here in the level 18 stack, so this is the frame and I want to go and press pause, I press here and all the other buttons location are saved in this uh, list. This was all done based on this resolution that is commonly used in all the emulators and in the majority of old phones. With newer phones there are bigger resolution of height and uh, I did not cover them entirely so my bot is currently working with this resolution and uh, it is tested to work. All these other resolutions are deprecated. Remember to subscribe in order to get updated on the newest videos for this Arcaro bot.